So I've got the uh, first image set up here and um, I've taken a composition similar in the past and really enjoyed it but that was about sort of uh, five ten meters in that direction um, and I did really like that composition but what I felt it lacked was some foreground interest so with that in mind what I've done is I've come back a little bit into some of the ruins of the buildings of the interior of the castle here and position the camera really low down to the ground. Um, I've got the central common extended slightly because what I wanted to do is get some of the walls or the remainder of the walls here in the foreground and then with one of the walls leading up to the actual main turret of the t uh, castle ruins that are still here and then obviously off into the uh, distance where the sun is going to be rising. So because the uh, walls are really close I needed to do a focus stack for this one so I've gone f 5.6 ISO 100 and then taken an exposure for the foreground focus on that and taken an exposure for the foreground focus then again onto the main turret at f 5.6 and again obviously taking another exposure and then obviously uh, then exposed for the sky as well so I've got the three sets of images two of them are focus stack and then obviously I've got the one for getting the highlights in for the sky as well because there is a huge dynamic range here this morning where the, the side I'm at looking at the obviously walls is in shadow compared to obviously the direction where the Sun is rising um, yeah you need to obviously be that little bit creative and uh, make sure you've got all of those exposures so when you go back to post-processing you you are at least able to then pull out all the detail and uh, work out to be a good nice balanced image so hopefully uh, first image here already um, yeah working out really good I, I can't this is the kind of thing that I wanted with that sort of leading line of the ruins of the walls will hopefully work out to lift that image that little bit better down onto the jetty now um, yeah got a lovely sunrise as the sun's obviously come up across the horizon creating that lovely leading line of light straight up to where the sun is rising so I've got the camera set up on approximately 30 to 30 35 mil on the lens again still with the uh, 10 stop filter on and about a one second uh, exposure at f5.6 ISO 100 to smooth out the water Water, but get the reflections I'm not worried too much about the shadows because I like them in uh, sort of silhouette but it's leading through the actual image working out really really nicely here so just obviously using the, the 18 to 135 mil lens just to obviously uh, make sure I've got that composition correct on the uh, where I actually want it so obviously with the upright posts here of the boom 
I don't really want to post on the left hand side of the image I want to make sure that obviously I've cropped him with the camera so obviously I've excluded that and got some nice clean lines throughout the whole image so yeah working out really quite nicely and just as the sun is rising it's highlighting more of the foreground than obviously just snapping away there So as I'm placed right on the uh, slope here, looking out across to some of the pine trees that we've got. Really interesting view. I love the lay of the land here because that's adding to the image really nicely. It's obviously creating a diagonal through the image from the bottom left to the, to the right. And then with the pine trees as well, and one of the dead oak trees in, in the center of the image as well. So working out to be a really interesting image. So settings for the camera for this one is f11, ISO 100, 1 20th of a second is my base image, however because of the dynamic range and I want to make sure that I've got that dynamic range when I come to post process this image, I've actually bracketed two stops either side. So hopefully with that working out really interesting. Key thing for this one working out really well is levelling up the tripod best you can, obviously adjusting the legs on the tripod but having that central uh, base plate leveller as well working out to be really handy for this type of image because I am on such a slope. You would think Essex is quite flat however this little bit of it is not but working out to be a really interesting composition I hope. <laughs> 